Hey, this is Travis, and today's video is gonna be rather short. It's just a lesson on trading options around earnings. Someone on YouTube asks, hey, can I share some thoughts on you know option strategies for earnings? So hope you enjoy. And I'm not gonna to spend too much time on it, because guess what? I don't really teach about trading around earnings anymore because I don't believe it anymore. It's fun, yes, you can make some money, but I what here's what I found. It's fun, but it's not how you build wealth, right? So I wanna teach stuff that allows people to build wealth, not some fun gimmicky strategies that work sometimes, but not like duplicatable and it's not consistent. So that's why I don't focus on it anymore. So that's my strong disclaimer, but I'll teach you the earnings technique. The first one is a market club earnings technique. So uh, Square, all right, Square, let's see what waste management. Market club, the co-founder of market club detailed a strategy a while back um, on how to trade earnings. I d it's in their archives, so I'm going off my memory here, so it may not be exactly accurate, but right before earnings, you check and see what the trade triangles are showing. And then you trade in the prevailing trend of the trade triangles. So for waste management, it both has a weekly and then a monthly green trade triangle. So the bias is bullish or up. So right before earnings, you would buy a call option. And generally, that works out. The people who've tried it have emailed me like, wow, that works so great. So that's the market club earnings technique. Right before earnings, make sure all the trade triangles are in unison, and then buy a call, a, buy an option in the direction of the trade triangles, whether it's up or down. Up, call option, down, put options. Next thing is called the quarter to quarter. If you look here at Apple, right, after Apple's earnings right here, this, a lot of people don't know, you can be profitable just getting into trades in between earnings, right? Right after earnings, depending on what their earnings are, they, you see if their earnings, if they made money, and then you read the earnings report and look at the outlook. If the outlook is positive, start looking at the volume. So you see a volume spike there. They held off a little bit, and when they held off, the stock straight sideways, right? Then you see volume picking up again. This is people with a lot of money, institutional investors, jumping back in the stock before earnings. You can ride it up, and right before earnings, get out. You don't even have to ride through earnings, right? Just profit on the ride up up to earnings. So you ride it from quarter to quarter. Okay. That's method number two. Method number three is a stock like Apple. If it reacts violently to earnings up or down, which you can do is come in and then trade what they call a straddle or a strangle. And what it is, is you buy a call and a put. A straddle is generally where you buy an at the money call or a put. So you might buy this 315 call, 315 put. A strangle, I don't know why they get these weird names, but they're out of the money options. So you come further out, you buy an out of the money call, and then you come further out and you buy an out of the money put. And what that is designed to do is what they call a non-directional strategy. You make money no matter which way the stock goes. So those are my three techniques to trade earnings. Again, um, every now and then I delve in it and, and try it out. It's fun, it keeps investing interesting but it's not a consistent way to build wealth. And so I don't really focus on it. I don't want it, I don't really teach it, but that's it. <laughs> Those are the methods I use. The market club technique, the quarter to quarter technique, or the straddle strangle technique. So try it out and let me know in the comment section how things work out for you. So you take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.